Hare Krishna, in the ninth verse of the first chapter of Bhagavad Gita, Duryodhana is still speaking to Bhishma and Drona. And here, and also other warriors are hearing uh, what he is speaking. So here what happens is, there is a dual meaning in this verse. What does he say? He says, Anyecha Bahavaha Shura. There are other great warriors. Shura means warriors, Bahavaha, many of them. Uh, other than who? In the previous verse, we see that he's talking about Dronacharya, Bhishma, Karna, and all of these great warriors. So along with that, he's saying like this, I have so many other great warriors. What are they here for? Madarte, they're here for my sake because they are, uh, they have a lot of affection for me. So they are here, Madarte, and they're here and what's going to happen? Tyakta Jivitaha, Tyakta is to sacrifice, Jivitaha is life. They're here to sacrifice their life so that I can become the king again. I can win over this battle. So, Tyakta Jevitaha. And what is the qualification of these warriors? Um, nana Shastra Praharanaha. They are very efficient, effective and efficient in, the, in, in Nana Shastra. Nana means in varieties of Shastra uh, weapons. Their, ex, their expertise in this is very good. And they are also experts in fighting this battle. Nana Shastra Praharanaha. Sarve Yuddha Visharadaha. Yuddha is war. Fighting. Uh, Visharadaha means experts. They are also experts in weapons, uh, in, in, in uh, making use of the weapons that they have. They are experts in it and also in fighting. So now, where is the dual meaning? It is in this particular second line where he talks about they are here to lay their lives for me. So on one end, he is very proud looking at all these amazing Shuras, great warriors like Drona, Bhishma, Shalya and Karna, everybody is standing for him to win the war. So he is very, very confident. Of course, externally he is saying, I am going to win this war, victory is on my side. But what is the internal meaning? Sanjay is speaking about the internal meaning in the last few verses of Gita. He is saying, Yatra Yogeshwara Krishna, Yatra Parto Dhanurdaraha, Tatra Shir Bhujayo Bhutir, Dhruvanitar Matir Mama. So for the question, that Dhritarashtra is asking in the first verse of the Bhagavad Gita, which says, My sons and sons of Pandu have gathered in Kurukshetra to fight. What are they doing right now? So he gives the entire scene in the battlefield. Sanjaya speaks this entire Bhagavad Gita as he is seeing in the battlefield of Kurukshetra. And in the end, he says, This is my opinion because your son, in spite of good counsel, has not taken it. So he has acted in the side of Adharma. What he has done is not right. He tried to kill Bhishma. These children were, they did not have their father. Pandu was the king and after that Pandavas are supposed to take the kingdom. But your son, being Adharmic, did not give any piece of the kingdom to them. And what he gave was just Kandava Prastha, which where only thorns and thorny bushes would grow. This is what he gave them after they wanted to take a kingdom. And because of Krishna's mercy, Kandava Prastha became Indra Prastha. And when they were ruling it, Duryodhana couldn't take it. He was still so jealous of the beauty of Indra Prastha that Krishna created for the Pandavas. So again, he called them for the dice game, cheated them, sent, a, sent them to the forest. And when they come back, came back from the forest, again he said, still I'm not going to give you, forget about five villages, because they said, look, we are Kshatriyas, our nature is to rule. You don't give us big kingdoms, just give us each one village to rule. But then he refuses. He says, no ways. I'm not going to give you even that piece of land where a small needle would stand, needle can stand. So he said, if you want anything, fight from, fight with me and take. So that's how throughout he's been adharmic. So these people who are fighting on the side of Duryodhana are technically fighting for Adharma. But what's on the other, what's on the opposite side? It is the Dharma Raja, which is Yudhishthira. He's the son of Yamadharma. So he's the upholder of Dharma also. So virtuous, not just pious and a good person, but he's spiritual. He's a great devotee of Krishna and he's virtuous. 
So he's saying, look at who your son is fighting against. One is Yudhishthira and the next is Krishna himself, right? Who's the father of dharma. He's standing. Yatra Yogeshwara Krishna. Sanjaya is saying this to Dhritarashtra in the 18th chapter of Bhagavad Gita. To say that where there is Krishna who is Yogeshwara and where there is Arjuna who is Dhanurdhar, the bowman Arjuna, there Tatra, in that place Shreer, which is wealth, uh, Vijay, victory and Bhuti, all powers that are required is all fully present. So he's saying, how is it possible for anyone who is on the side of Adharma to win? This is Sanjaya's words. So, uh, here I'm discussing this to say that the other reason, uh, that the, the inner internal reason, internal meaning for why uh, uh, Duryodhana will not win, uh, Duryodhana is saying it himself, right? He's saying these people are here to give up their lives, to mean that their lives are going to be taken away in this war. But unfortunately, being on the side of Adharma is going to be taken away. Not that it is going to go away to make Duryodhana the king. So these are the dual meanings in this particular verse. So the shloka goes like this again. Anyecha bahavaha shura madharte kyakta jivitaha nana shastra praharanaha sarve yuddha visharadaha. Hare Krishna.